Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris from Togger.ca and Butter Studios. Today, I am excited to talk to you about the Rode Wireless Go 2. So we're gonna do a little bit of a demo and a quick review from me. Uh, and as always, I'll have all of the specs and details, uh, the finer details in the description of this video. Uh, but without further ado, this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. Well, this is the receiver anyways. So it comes with two transmitters that I'm recording on right now. So I actually have the first transmitter clipped onto me here and the second one is actually hooked up to a lav mic uh, just so that I can give a live demo uh, and you can compare the two uh, with uh, the shotgun mic that's on my camera right now that's filming. So I'm quite impressed with it right out of the box. I've only had it a couple of days but I did get a chance to do a couple of tests on it. And um, the first key piece uh, in terms of upgrades over the first version is the two transmitters, which is awesome for like when you do an interview with two people, that way you can have it feeding into the same receiver. And so you can output, there's a 3.5 mil uh, analog output uh, from the receiver that you can plug into a recorder or directly into your camera. Now I like to uh, plug it into a recorder just so I have that backup audio. But speaking of backups, uh, one cool feature that the Wireless Go 2 has is that um, you can record a backup track uh, as well automatically. So you can set it up in the Rode Central software that you can download from the Rode uh, website. And it would record a safety track that's minus 20 decibels lower. So in case of peaking, like if you get um, uh, heavy pops from uh, the speaker, then you have a safety track that's a little bit lower volume that you can edit uh, with after. You can also select between merge tracks or separate tracks between the two receivers. Uh, so if you want to clean up uh, the audio or if one person speaks louder than the other, then you have the option of editing the file separately uh, after, as long as you set it beforehand, of course. So other key features, 200 meters line of sight, reception uh, between the receiver and transmitter, 128-bit uh, encryption. I mean, the sound is pretty crystal clear to me, but you be the judge after this, okay? Uh, 3.5 mil TRS output, like I mentioned before. Uh, now, one of the specs or features mentioned is 40 hours of uh, recording time. Now, that's based on uncompressed mode and you have to switch it into the backup uh, mode for that to work. If you have it always recording as soon as you turn on the transmitter, then you can only record seven hours, which is still a lot, uh, of uh, uncompressed audio, which I think a lot of you prefer anyways. And um, built in seven hours of battery life, so plenty of time. I think most of your jobs would probably uh, be less than that. So to give you a bit of a demo today, I am recording on separate tracks and chose that option um, so I can show you the difference between recording directly from the omnidirectional microphone on the Wireless Go 2 versus a lav mic connected to uh, the second transmitter that I have. So let's start with uh, the one that's clipped on. My name is Chris Chong from Butter Studios recording directly on the omnidirectional microphone on the Rode Wireless Go 2. And let's try on the lav mic, which is also clipped onto the other side here. I know a little nerdy, but this is for demonstration purposes. My name is Chris Chong from Butter Studios, recording on a lav mic connected to the Rode Wireless Go 2. They both should sound roughly the same as they're about the same distance uh, to my face. And when I look at the receiver, it's actually showing me on both channels. It's um, popping at about the same levels. Uh, the lav mic is maybe just slightly lower, but that could depend on which uh, brand of lav mic that you use. Uh, always prefer to use the same brand with the same brand, right? But of course, using a lav mic and connect it to the transmitter is to turn the transmitter into a tiny little uh, belt clip pack, which is easy to hide away. And, um, you know, for me, I don't like having this little square thing clipped on in my videos. Uh, you want it to look a little bit more clean. So with the lav mic, you can, of course, hide it under the shirt or uh, tape it to uh, the inside of the jacket or hoodie or whatever it is, right? So let's talk about what it comes with. Of course, it comes with a receiver, two transmitters. Again, you can record on separate channels or a mixed channel. Three USB-A to USB-C cables for charging and connecting to your computer, especially if you want to uh, pull the files out. Uh, the files are actually saved on the transmitters, each with its own tracks. 
A bunch of different settings there, as you can see in the Rode Central software. A 3.5 millimeter male-to-male -male TRS cable to connect directly to your camera or to a recording device. A carrying pouch. And three fur windshields, or dead mouses, like I like to call them, since uh, for shotgun mics, it's a dead cat. Ha ha. Call it whatever you want. So I like to say, well done, Rode, on designing this. This is what I was looking for. I was kind of uh, holding off off of the first version of it. Like it just didn't have that extra capability over my uh, setup at the time uh, for me to justify to purchase it. But with the dual transmitter, the easy setup, uh, the reliability, I just had to get the wireless go to as well. And I'm quite very, very happy with uh, the purchase. Now, straight out of the box, really simple to use. I mean, there's only a couple of buttons. I figured it out within minutes. It's already paired and ready to go. What I would suggest though, if you do purchase this, um, make sure you download the Rode Central software, connect the transmitters as well as the receiver to your computer, and just fine tune the settings to exactly how you want it. Whether you want compressed audio, uncompressed audio, or whether you want it to automatically start recording like all the time when it's on, or only when uh, the receiver is on so just have a look um, it's always good to plug it in as well to see if there's any firmware updates so you can update your devices uh, to uh, maximize its potential um, but otherwise i'm really happy with it i can't wait to uh, get on the road with it and make good use of it uh, for my gigs so if you want to purchase it i did put a, uh, a purchase link uh, in the description and uh, more information up there as well. And if you do like this video and want to see more, please click on like, subscribe. I still need to hit enough subscribers so that I can customize my channel name, so please help with that. And uh, maybe we'll have a few contests running uh, pretty soon. For now, take care, stay safe, laters.